In this video, we'll talk about um, connecting up and checking a recorder state to make sure that a log is actually putting the data into the database. Um, scenarios where this might come up is if a firmware was updated on a device or data had to be aligned for some reason or there's just an issue where you're not getting data in the database even though the diagnostic viewer says that the records are updating. So one of the first things we'd want to check is to see if the actual data recorder are recording the information that you want to see. So the first thing you want to do is open up the diagnostic viewer. You can get to that from the management console, tools, and then the diagnostic viewer, or you can hit the start menu and hit run and type diag viewer with no spaces and hit OK. Once that opens up, you'll want to drop down to the service diagnostics and go to the log inserter. And then you'll go to the log performance tab. From here, we can see that there are multiple handles for each, for each node. So what this shows is the different data recorders that are in the system. You can slide over. And you can see that it's processed 554 records out of each of these data recorders. So if this was incrementing higher and higher, but you weren't getting any updated data in the database, um, this would be a good reason to check and see if the data is actually going into the database. And if the um, channel may have been just reset or the last position had been reset on the data recorder. Right. So the next thing you want to do is open up SQL Management Studio. You can usually get to it from the start menu, your programs, Microsoft SQL Server, and SQL Server Management Studio. You want to use an SA account that you have to log into the uh, into the SQL Server, and then you want to drop down the databases, Ion Data tables and then we want to look at the source table to begin with so I'll right click on this select top thousand rows okay so I'll just pick a device as an example here um, I'll take a look at ID number four if this was the device in question, you know, you want to find, find the one that's giving you issues, of course, but we'll just use this one as an example. This one's source ID 4. So now that you have the source ID for the device, the next thing you want to do is come up to the recorder table. And we'll do the same thing. We'll open it. You may have to increment this number up here to, to get all the results in. Now, we want to filter this table down to just source ID 4, which is this table, or this column, I mean. So we'll say where source ID equals 4. Execute. Now, these are all the recorders that's in the system for that particular device. So there's data rec 1 and data rec 2. The ID uh, column is the, the particular recorder ID for each one of these. So if I look at three and four as a recorder ID for this particular device. So now that we have that, you can come down to the recorder state and do the same thing. We'll open it up. But here we're gonna say where recorder ID equals three. All right, and this shows you the last timestamp. So this one, the last timestamp on this data recorder was in 2012. So either this device is no longer in service or it's not updating. So there's obviously an issue here since it's 2017. If I look at the other recorder ID, you can see the same thing. So here's where you can check and see if uh, where the last timestamp was taken from, from pulling the data into the database. If you've updated a firmware or 
put in a new driver for a particular device type, you may look at this device and see that it's further back, but if you keep executing it, it may update. And if it's updating, then what's happened is the this uh, recorder state has been reset and it's going back through all of the onboard data on the device and that information will eventually catch up. So once you have the source and the recorder state, being able to look at these um, recorder states will show you that a device is either catching up or it's not catching up on, on the data that is in the uh, device itself. Thank you.